I'm worried about how I'm doing in my classes. I'm really struggling with this first year. I haven't managed to get used to the university pace and I'm not following the classes very well or understanding anything. My last year at school went really well, but now I'm a bit lost. Perhaps you need a bit of help to look after yourself a little better. Just the other day, the tutor was suggesting that I should sign up for a course on study techniques and that I should look after my diet and lifestyle. But I don't get that bit about my diet. I'm not anorexic and I don't have any other illnesses. I can't believe that marks depend on whether or not you eat your greens. One, two, three, four. A rational and balanced diet helps us all with our physical and mental health. I guess you'd be willing to accept that good eating habits can influence both the way children grow and the welfare of adults. Well, it's been scientifically proven that it also has repercussions on our intellectual performance. Unfortunately, it has to be said that the positive or negative consequences of our eating habits only appear in the long term. So the relationship between eating and health is not that clear, but it does make a difference. What effects can a poor diet have on your studies then? Lack of concentration, poor academic results, and also, in the medium and long term, health problems like being overweight, hypertension, diabetes, or cancer of the colon. But that's never happened to me. Adolescents already tend to do what they want with their food, whether or not that's the fault of their families. But these problems tend to get more serious when young people start university. I suppose I'd have to agree with that. But why does it get worse when you start university? Eating at university is conditioned by a series of emotional, physiologic and environmental changes. Of the different factors that can have an influence, I'll just mention three. Greater independence, that's the case even if you carry on living with your parents, but even more so when you start living on your own. More freedom when it comes to choosing and preparing what you eat. And a notable receptivity to advertising and fashion. I'm not sure if you've convinced me here, but while we're on the subject, could you give me any advice for eating better? To keep things short, I can summarise it into four rules for you. One, your food has to be natural and varied and has to include ingredients from all the different groups dairy products, cereals and starch, proteins, vegetables and oil. Two, it has to be spread into three meals and no more full breakfast, lunch and a light supper. Three, you should drink about a litre and a half of water a day. And finally, four, you should balance your diet with physical exercise and an active lifestyle and also sleep at least seven and a half hours to eight hours every night. <laughs>